Okay, welcome to my Java video. Today we're going to show you how to use strings a little bit. We're going to actually show you how to replace uh, values or remove values from a string in Java. So I already created a class called test and it has a main already. Let's uh, start by creating a data type of a string and we'll call it sample string and we're going to go ahead and give it a value and we're going to say Bob loves Lucy and we're going to say you know comma not okay and we go ahead and it was obviously our semicolon so let's uh, do a system out so we can see it on screen and what we're going to do is I'm going to put the word before we use uh, string concatenation to uh, show us a string with the word before in front of it in a space, obviously. So when I run this, it just says before. In fact, let's make this a little easier to read. We'll put a semicolon there. But let's say we want to remove that not, okay? We want to get rid of that because Bob really does love Lucy, we'll say. What we're going to do is we're going to do sample string, and we're set it equal to something. Remember, when you change a, uh, when you want to change a value of something, you put the value that you want to, where you want to store the new value in, on the left side of the equals, and then you do the uh, equation or the processing on the right side of the equal sign. So we got sample. So we're going to do sample string. Then we're going to hit dot. Notice this little menu pops up. In this case, we're going to hit type replace all. And go ahead and end this with a semicolon. Now, we have two possible things. We're wanting to get rid of not. So the first one is the term you're wanting to get rid of, not in this case. Now keep in mind, it has to match exactly, see how that's not all in lowercase? It would have to match not. If this was an uppercase n, or any of these letters were uppercase, this case would not match this case. Okay, now we're just wanting to get rid of that, so we're going to do an empty string, which is just two quotation marks. So let's do an after to see what it looks like, to see if that really did remove the not from our uh, string. We'll do the same thing, but we're going to type after, and we'll do sample string. This is string concatenation, where you just put two strings together and it knows what you're doing with the plus symbol. So let's hit play. Notice that the not is removed. Well, let's say we like that, but we also want to change that comma to a period, because we want this to be a proper sentence, right? Well, we can actually stack this replace uh, together. We can type dot again, replace all, all over again. We're stacking them on top of each other. And then we'll add another, we'll put the semicolon back. And obviously we want to replace the comma this time, right, with a period. So instead of doing the empty string, we'll do a period. Now when we run the program, we change the sentence from Bob loves Lucy not to Bob love Lucy. I guess I should work on my grammar, but we'll move past that. Let's try this differently. Let's set sample string to something different. Let's say we want it, we'll set it to P nine O L eight two F whatever that is, right? And it's going to be a string, so we've got to put that in quotations. Now I know that looks like a bunch of generic, you know, nothing code, but put that there. If you notice, we have uh, numeric values and alpha values. So we have some numbers and we have some letters. What if we wanted to remove all the letters from this? Well, we could do that. So let me go system 
Right, so we'll just copy this before system thing because it's going to be another before, right? And we're going to do sample string. Notice we're going to have to store it back in there again. Equals sample string dot replace all. But this time we're going to use regular expressions and we're going to just do that square bracket a dash z lowercase then uppercase a notice I didn't put a space or anything dash uppercase z and I'm going to replace it with just an empty string so now oh and you got to put those in quotations I always forget to do that get ahead of myself and of course Java NetBeans wants to try and fix everything for me. So now we got an after, so we'll copy this after. Which we'll see. So let's uh, run this and see what happens. Notice that now all we have is just the numbers in there. Well, what if we wanted to preserve where that space was? Well, we could actually, instead of do that empty space, I could just insert a space here. And now when we run it, see the difference? The, there's a space right there. I know it's a little offset, but, and you can imagine that there's, that's an O instead of that, uh, zero. So there's two spaces there, O, L, and then A2, and then F, N, G is just more spaces. So I'm sure one, two, three, so that shows you that they match up. Well, what if we didn't want to remove any of the letters, but instead we wanted to just keep the number, or we wanted to reverse the process? We could just do the caret, which is Shift-6, in front of our A to Z. Now when we run it, we get all the letters. So there's one way to remove all the letters, the other way to remove, and we'll go ahead and remove that space. So, so we've removed all the letters, or we've removed all the numbers. Now we can also get rid of that caret and do um, 0 to 9, I believe it is. It's been a while since I've done this one. We'll just add an at symbol here. That's right, it was 0 to 9. And so now with this, we're saying remove all the lowercase letters, remove all the uppercase letters, and remove anything that's a number, and leave all the symbols left. By contrast, we could do the caret again and remove all the symbols. This is a way to go through strings quickly and remove characters, letters, numbers that you don't need in them and then you'll have a string that's left over that you can work with later for doing other calculations. This concludes my Java replace string uh, tutorial. Have a nice day.